Good morning. Who's that on the screen? Who's that? Good morning. Oh, I hope you're all okay. It is Monday and I thought, uh-oh, uh -oh, I thought this week I would film a little bit of a week in the life, very realistic, take you along as our life as a working fam. Today is Monday, Joey isn't at nursery today. Monday is Marco, Marco works Tuesday to Saturday. So on a Monday, Marco has Joey, which is great. They have a nice little bonding sesh although they had one yesterday too i was actually working yesterday which is weird because it's a sunday but we had um an event that i needed to go to so i was in brixton yesterday afternoon so this week is technically a five day working week so joey and marco are at home today i work from home and i work tuesday to no i work monday to thursday we're just navigating that at the moment and then friday is mine and joey's day isn't it it's friday mummy and joey's day yes. dad should we get up and make some breakfast, do you think? <laughs> yeah, is it time for some breakfast? What would you like for breakfast? Do you want scrambled egg? <laughs> Ready for a fun old week. We've got yeah. Hey, should we go and have some breakfast? Today has been so busy already. It's Tuesday and I'm working, so Joey's at nursery today. Marco tends to do half a day on Tuesday. He will come home, he will walk Bruce, and then he will do like admin stuff for the salon. So this morning I dropped Joey off at nursery. I then came home, went straight into, my voice is being really funny, went straight into recording this week's podcast. So it'll be live by the time this video goes out. But this week we were recording with Kaylee Hartigan, who is the founder of Fertility Mapper. I really recommend you check Fertility Mapper out, actually, if you're going through your own uh, IVF journey. They have like an NHS eligibility calculator, so you can find out what you're entitled to in your area, um, as well as like a really independent, really amazing anonymous review system for clinics. They're all verified. You have to prove that you've had treatment at that clinic. They ask you loads of different things like broken down. Yeah, it's really, really great. So if you haven't, then listen to uh, this week's episode of Am I Overreacting? I am now on my lunch break. So it's, what time is it? It's 22, yeah, 20 to one. Um, I have a meeting at half one, so slightly late going on a lunch break, but I'm actually taking a lunch break today, so that in itself is a big enough success for me. And I'm going to try and utilise the next 50 minutes well and be a bit productive. It's something I'm not very good at, but my house is a mess and it's really starting to get me down. So I have booked off a week, not next week, the week after, like whenever Easter falls, that following week, I've booked off a week and a half and I'm going to keep Joey in nursery and really utilise that time to clean the house properly and just kind of get on top of everything because there is just stuff everywhere like guys I have got a pile of washing on my island that has been there well it just keeps growing really because whenever we whenever we do the washing it just gets added to it I have got a massive pile down there of things that still need folding um but I have no room to fold them my office is a mess just full of stuff that we need to get rid of and yeah the only room really that is tidy and clean in my house right now is Joey's bedroom that I seem to be able to keep on uh, to keep on top of but everything else I don't um so I'm gonna empty the dishwasher didn't do it last night so I'm gonna empty the dishwasher reload it get that going probably whip the hoover around because because I don't know if anybody, if, has anybody else got like, um, what are they called? The opposite to hypoallergenic, but dogs that molt, basically, especially big dogs that molt. This time of year, I mean, Bruce, to be honest, just seems to molt constantly all year round. Like when people are like, oh, he, you know, it's the season for it. I'm like, every day is the season for Bruce to molt. And my floor looks like a carpet, so I really need to hoover. Does anybody actually, I'm in the market for a new hoover. I can't see myself buying one like in the immediate future, but we we could do with a new uh, new Hoover. We've got the Shark Extra Large pet one. I can't remember what the make is, but it was an expensive Hoover. We've had it nearly six years. We'll have had it six years in November. 
it's really weird that I remember when I got my Hoover, isn't it? Is that a weird thing to remember? We've got that Hoover and it was great and we still like it, but I find that the suction, like, I don't think it's as good with pet hair as it was hyped up to be. Like, I'm regularly having to clean it. My hair gets tangled in the roller brush because I molt worse than Bruce, especially since having Joey. Yeah, I just don't think it's the best. It's also really bulky and it's really heavy, so hoovering is like a full workout and it really drives me mad so i need something that can cope with the dog hair but is also quite easy to like get up the stairs to do the stairs etc etc uh, and it's quite compact like i've been looking at the uh, cordless ones because then you know it can be put on the wall and it can be out of the way i don't need a home for it this house has got no storage it's really really frustrating i've also been looking at the robot hoovers i very nearly impulse bought one the other week uh i'd asked for recommend uh, recommendations on instagram loads of people were re uh, were recommending the is it ufi do you say it like that ufi ufi i don't know the eufi and i am really considering it but it's such a big purchase like they're not cheap that I don't want to do it unless I'm a hundred percent sure that it is gonna solve all my problems I'm not bothered about one that has a mop in built uh I thought it was but loads of people just said it looks like you've just like dragged a wet cloth around the house and I'm not here for that vibe so either recommend a hoover or let me know if you think the uh robot ones are worth it possibly might get both because I still think it's good to do a big deep hoover every now and again and let's be honest the robot isn't gonna cope with the stairs um but it needs to be good on wood floor and carpet and ideally like shaggy rugs i don't think any of the robot hoovers really are going to the affordable ones anyway are going to be great on shaggy rugs but uh we will see but anyway i'm not spending my entire lunch break talking to you i'm gonna do a 30 minute quick clean yeah i'm gonna try and also have some lunch before my meeting so let's go camera died in the middle of my silly little cleaning routine uh today so yeah sorry if the footage has just kind of stopped really suddenly um i've just got into bed i have some fresh clean pajamas on which always makes me very happy i've put my hair in my um heatless rollers i haven't done it in ages and i've also lost one of the silk little scrunchies so I need to locate that. Every time I do these and I put my hair in this and I go on Instagram, I say I'll do a like a video showing you how to do it and I always seem to forget. So if I remember, I will show you how to do it tomorrow, but obviously bear in mind that it will have already kind of pre-curled. Um, it's not my best tonight. It will probably look horrific in the morning. I think I've done it a little bit too far back. I'm trying to do it a bit differently because I'm wearing my hair back in the side parting at the minute. How very uh, bougie of me. Um, but yeah, if I remember, I will try and film that tomorrow, but I've just got into bed. It is quarter past ten. We started watching The Gentleman tonight. I've actually come to bed like ten minutes before we finished the second episode because I'm shattered. So I decided I would come to bed, um, and I will catch up on the last ten minutes of that episode tomorrow. But so far, it's so good. And I really recognise Daniel Ings, and I, who plays Freddy, and I couldn't figure out where from. It's sex education, guys. He plays Dan. He is Joy's father. So, sorry, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen Sex Education, whoops, sorry there. But yeah, so I'm now in bed about to do my little skincare routine, and I say my little skincare routine because quite literally all I do is cleanse my face, and once I've finished taking my makeup off and cleansing, I use this, Skin and Me. That's not going to focus at all. It is really silly and really little because all you do is, if I can turn it one-handed, probably not. I really need to buy a tripod. I used to have one. I don't know where it's gone. Oh my god, why can't I turn it? So you literally just twist it and then like that much comes out. And just quite literally dab, 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 dab. Bit too much there. Dab. And then I just rub that in. And that's it. That is my skincare routine. I'm not going to sit here and give you a 10 part influencer skincare routine. Do you know what I've noticed actually? Not like throwing shade at influencers because, you know, go them. Um, they're earning a killing being influencers. 
like a girl can dream but it always makes me laugh now when people do skincare routines and they start it by looking at the camera and going like what's that all about why are we tapping our faces it's very very strange yeah so minus the hormonal spots because they just come out no matter what i do um i absolutely love this stuff it's made my skin look so much better my skin is far from perfect it is really not great but this little beauty uh there you go it's focusing now um this little beauty works wonders for me i really like it i am not a girl that can keep up with a really heavy full 10 step skincare routine that is just not for me what is on top of my bed marco's caps i don't know why he stores them on top of our bed it's very inconvenient very scruffy so that's my little skincare routine and i am now going to down some water something i don't do enough and go to bed. I have a stay and play at Joey's nursery tomorrow, which I'm really, really excited about. My grandma's coming with, so Joey's great grandma is going to join us. So we have that tomorrow morning, um, and then I'm working all day, all night. Not all night. I feel like I have something to do tomorrow. Oh, I am working tomorrow night, but not my work. I'm doing work because I have things to do for the salon that really need sorting. So add mini stuff if you've watched this point you deserve a medal. I'm hoping I'll be asleep by half past. I probably won't because I'm about to pick up my phone, which means I'll probably end up scrolling through Rightmove or something. Um, is that anybody else's favourite pastime, scrolling through Rightmove? No, just mine. Okay. I'll see you in the morning with hopefully very beautiful hair. So today is definitely not the best example of these heatless curls because they seem to have dropped very, very quickly, um, which they don't usually do. So I don't think I put enough product in it last night. Usually I do kind of ramp up the holding stuff and all the rest of it. So I will try again tonight um, and show you what I usually do because, yeah, this I'm just not overly impressed with. Um, I have... Oh, the lighting's horrible. I have a stay and play at Joey's Nursery this morning. So I'm currently waiting for my grandma. Um, it's when my grandparents are allowed to come, but I extended that to great-grandparents. Um, so my grandma is on her way to my house and then we're all going out we're all going out um we're going to the nursery for an hour or so which i'm really looking forward to the last time we went joey just like sat in my lap the whole time and didn't want to play at all he just sat in my lap and cuddled me which was very cute but um i'm hoping this time he is more willing to play he usually really wants to play with my grandma he loves her to pieces uh so yeah fingers crossed this time he's a bit more willing to play uh and then i just have a really busy day of work what a shock yeah it's really nice that my grandma's coming um i don't know whether or not i think i have uploaded a youtube video since but uh if i haven't or if i didn't mention it um i know i did an instagram but my grandma my grandma looked after my granddad for the best part of like you know 10 years he was diagnosed with alzheimer's about 11 years ago and uh he died in november so yeah she was his sole carer she is brilliant my grandma is my best friend like i when I was a kid, I wasn't a mummy's girl or a daddy's girl. I was through and through a grandma's girl. Um, always have been, always will be. I love the bones of her. Little things like this, I really love being able to do with her. I wish I'd had more time to clean the house because the washing pile is just getting bigger and bigger. And it's a little bit embarrassing when family come over and you're like, mm, the house is uh, nothing short of a uh, shit tip, for lack of a better word. Joey, say hi. Hey. We have just got back from nursery, haven't we? Just got back from nursery and Joey is filthy. Um, right, there you go. Go play then. You can go play. Do you want to go play with your toys? Yeah. Yeah, you want to go play with your toys? Do you? So, Mummy, make you some yoghurt while you go play? Yeah. Yeah, Dad will be home soon. Dad, Dad will be home soon. Dad. Yeah, Dad. Dad will be home soon, won't he? Really busy day, so literally came back from nursery. Um, yeah, what's the matter? Do you want to go play? You don't know what you want. Um, can't remember what I was going to say. Yeah, came back from nursery. We've had a really busy day. So now the plan is that I get home, make Joey a yoghurt or a snack of some kind before he goes to bed. Um, he's been waking up at like five, half five. Joey, that's Mummy's book. Um, he's been waking up, at, waking up at like five, half five. So I am thinking I might try and get him down to bed a little bit later. I'm not entirely sure. What's the matter? Oh, do you want those? Do you want Mummy to get them for you? Here you go. His stay and play was great today. We had so much fun. Uh, my grandma came, like I said, and she absolutely loved it. And guys, I made a mum friend. Made an actual mum friend. I mean, I already have mum friends, but I made a new mum friend, which was nice. Um, there's a lady, the last couple of stay and plays I've gotten, she's been there too. Obviously, her daughter's in Joey's room. Um, and yeah, we got chatting. She took my number. 
she hasn't texted me yet so maybe i've not made a mum friend um i couldn't even tell you her name which is really bad i completely like i got in my car and i just completely forgot her name which is really awful um but yeah she hasn't texted me yet so who knows <laughs> where are you going he's just off on his off on his little jolly that washing still needs to go away are you just walking around the kitchen are you just doing laps of the kitchen are you i've sorted out all his toys so he's got some toys here and then in the toy box there and then the rest of them are all here. So I went through the ball pit yesterday and like completely emptied that and I've put everything in this little basket here. Um, we just have so much of it and nowhere to put it. So what we are doing, what's the matter? What would you like? Can you not get something? What are you trying to get? This? Mummy needs to turn it on. There you go, let mummy pop it on the floor for you. Um, yeah, so I'm thinking what we're going to do is put the TV on the wall and then get like a Kallax unit to put underneath instead of that horrible TV stand. And then I have somewhere to store all his toys. Have you got a book? Do you want to read a book? Yeah, you want to read the Gruffalo? Right, okay, bear with me. Let mummy take her coat off then. Yeah, give mummy a minute. Give mummy a minute. Look, let mummy just take her coat off and then we'll go read the Gruffalo, won't we? Yeah? Okay. Yeah, should we go read the Gruffalo then? Come on then. Where's the mouse, Joey? Can you point to the mouse? Good. That's a fox. Where's the mouse? Good boy. Where's the fox? Where's the fox? Oh. Good boy. Where's the tree? You see a tree? Clever boy. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Oh, okay. Bye bye then. Bring it here then. Yeah. So this is currently um, Joey's favourite book because we go through it, don't we? And we go, right, ready? Joey, where is the dog? Can you point to the dog? Good boy. And can you point to the cat? Good boy. Where is the <laughs> mouse? Where's the mouse? There. Can you show mummy the mouse? That's a cat. Where's the mouse? Where's the mouse? Good. Good boy. Oh, that's a dog. Where? Okay, we'll try a different one. Where is the fish? That's the cat. Where's the fish? You know the fish. Good boy. Should we try a different page? Should we try this page? Where is the lion? Where's the lion? Good boy. Where is the penguins? Where are the penguins? Good boy. Where are, where is the zebra? <laughs> Joey? Okay, bye. Story of my life right now. He kind of uh, has the attention span of a goldfish. What's the matter? Are you hungry? Apparently he's been making that noise at nursery all day. They said for the last two days he tends to just walk over to the baby gate and just make that noise. Um, and then shout mama, which uh, both, you know, is great because I'm really glad that he loves me so much he wants me all the time. But also terribly sad because the last thing I want is for him to be missing me all day. Thank you. That's really kind of you. Dad. Dad will be home soon, won't he? Dad. 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 Okay, I'm going to go make him a snack because I think he's going to be a bit aggy until I do so. Yeah. Oh, yeah, there we go. Clawing at your high chair. Should we make it? Would you like a yogurt? Would you like a yogurt? Yeah? Should we go make a yogurt? Okay, let's go make a yogurt. Let's go make a yogurt. Happy Thursday. I am just about to leave the house to go pick up Joey. He's doing uh, half a day today and my father-in-law is coming around this afternoon to help me so I can finish work. Um... I completely forgot that my sister was coming to stay tonight, so <laughs> yeah, I have a lot to do that I forgot I needed to do. Um, I need to clean the bathroom, I need to make sure that she's got clean bedding, um, and yeah, just basically get everything ready for her to come, which is wild. How do you forget that your sister's coming to stay? But yeah, so I've got my sister coming to stay, so I've got bits that I need to be getting on with later as well. So um, yeah, it's really helpful that my father-in-law is coming. Um, I got an exciting delivery today, which I will show you. This is the out and about pram. It's the Nipper Adventure 
bundle. So this one is like more for off-roading. They really kindly sent me it as a um, like PR product. So I'm going to be reviewing that for you, um, but I'm going to build that tomorrow. I don't work Friday, so I am going to get that built and maybe trial it tomorrow. Um, depends how we get on in the day as to what kind of dog walk I do. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to try that. So I will keep you updated on that. I also didn't do my hair in the curls last night, hence why I didn't film. We have started watching The Gentleman and started watching more of it last night and uh, yeah, got a bit too into it and by the time I went to bed it was like 11 o'clock. Joey then woke up at midnight. We had quite a bad night last night and he woke up a few times. So um, yeah, I should have done it because I look like a foot today, but oh well. Um, but yeah, so I am going to get Joey before I run out of time and spend 10 minutes talking to you and then don't go get him. I literally do this all the time. Oh, sugar. Oh, I've trapped my coat in the door. <laughs> I do that all the time and I end up ruining my coat. I had a tripod for my, oh my God. One absolute idiot. I have been, honestly, I have been searching my house for like the last 10 days for a tripod that I bought for my car um, so that I can film and I've not been able to find it and it is here. It has been stuck to my windscreen the entire time. God's sake, Amber. Um, that just goes to show how all over the place I am at the moment. But, right, I've got 20 minutes to go get Joey, so let's go. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, everything is very chaotic. Guys, I am chaotic. I don't even know who I'm kidding. I also finished watching Love is Blind yesterday and I feel like we have so much to talk about. Did you watch it? I've seen it's coming to the UK and Matt Willis and Emma Willis are presenting it, which makes me very excited. It's the first time I'd ever watched the US one. Um, didn't hate it, did it lo didn't love it, but it was just easy TV to watch. Sorry about that, yeah. Um, easy watching is what I went to say and yeah I loved it I loved it spoiler alert I couldn't believe that Clay said I don't to be honest um, wasn't surprised that Chelsea and Jimmy didn't get married either like that was just doomed I really liked Jimmy um, yeah I really liked him uh, I liked quite a few of them to be honest but yeah I don't know it's just easy watching isn't it did you watch it who did you like who did you not like are you looking forward to the UK one um, and then I watched the reunion as well but I just thought that was a bit crap so probs won't be watching anymore i don't know i think i'm more of a selling sunset kind of gal so i've just pulled up at nursery i am early which is amazing i think i missed the memo where it said nobody was allowed to drive today because usually it takes me a lot longer um but i have just checked the app and he's asleep so i'm kind of delaying going in and i'm gonna go at like the last minute because i'd like him to get as much sleep as possible joey really struggles if he doesn't have um a proper nap and yeah, he's been he was really whiny this morning before I dropped him off. Like really, we uh, we had a hard morning to say the least. Um, he just didn't want to be put down, didn't want to do anything. Even when he was with us, he was just whining. I think his molars are coming through. Um, we've only got his back ones to come through now, so he's got 16 teeth. And these last ones, we they've been kind of there for a while, like waiting to come through. He had his first dentist appointment last week, and they confirmed that yes, they are on their way but they just seem to be taking ages and he just seems to be really struggling with it so i think that's it so i really do feel for him but it's hard <laughs> it is a hard graft at the most marco does late nights on a thursday i say late night like he gets home at about eight o'clock but it means that i do bedtime and all the rest of it by myself i try and finish work at bang on five o'clock so i can kind of get him fed watered bathed all the rest of it ready to go down and just give my father-in-law the easiest afternoon possible so i'd prefer it if he doesn't need a nap so that's my roundabout way of telling you that i'm sat in my car doing absolutely diddly squat my father-in-law has taken joey to his sister's house which is very very beneficial for me um we got home i think joey was quite hungry so gave him some food i made him uh the other day some of the eating with the kids what are they courgette and leek like mini loaves um so i've got the loaf tray that laura sells and i mean i've literally got every single pack that she does i <laughs> cannot rate laura high enough um but i'd made those the other day and stuck them in the freezer so i just defrosted one of those gave him one of those and some blueberries and um like one of those heinz biscotti things so he's had that Got him on his trike and off they've gone. So they should be gone until around five-ish. So 
that works really well for me. Um, so I utilised the last kind of 20 minutes of my lunch break to film a reel that I've been meaning to do all week. It's a reel for a brand collaboration that I have, so needed to film that. So I managed to get that done. Um, I'd already filmed like part of it, but I just needed to film the end bit, like do the voiceover bit. So that should now be finalised, which is one thing ticked off my to-do list. Um, so I'm going to get my head down. I've got a meeting in just under two hours. I'm going to sneeze. So I've got a couple of hours to kind of get my head down and get everything that I need to do for the week done. And then, yeah, prepare for when Joey gets home. We're having teriyaki rice for our tea, uh, which is another one of Laura's recipes. But I have that all the time, to be honest. It's so quick and easy. I cheat and I use microwavable rice because I have never in my life, other than risotto or paella, been able to cook just normal long grain rice correctly. It's either too stodgy or it's not soft enough. So yeah, I fail at that. So I do it in the microwave. So it literally takes 10 minutes to cook. Just fry off the pork, like get pork mince, fry that off, stick some teriyaki sauce in it, put the, mi uh, put the rice in the microwave, add the rice to the pot, mix it all up, once you've cooked your veg that you want to add in, just mash it all in and voila, you have a very, very nice dinner. We love it. Uh, Joey loves it. So 10 out of 10 from us. Guys, I'm excited. I'm really excited. I have just had the best delivery I could have asked for. I am buzzing my tits off. So if you followed me for a little while, you'll know that Marco is a hairdresser, my husband. My hair care routine is, I mean, it's not bad, to be fair. It's a lot better than, like, it's a lot more, uh, what's the word? There's more steps to it than there is my skincare routine and all the rest of it. Like, I do enjoy looking after my hair, uh, especially with the amount that I change it. Like, if you've been here a while, you'll have seen me blonde, you'll have seen me pink, you'll have seen me bright copper, you'll have seen me very, very dark brown. Like, I fluctuate between it all, all of the time. Um, but a product that I really love and have recommended on Instagram so many times is the Davro Lux Leave-In Mask. And I use it every time I've washed my hair. I put it in when it's wet. And then when it's dry, I add it again and I add it to my hair every single day. I don't think I have ever loved a product as much as I loved the Davro mask. Um, it's amazing. It's not a mask in the traditional sense that you would like lather it on your hair and rinse it out and all the rest of it. Like it's, it's a little bit different, but um, I love it. Absolutely love it. And they've sent me a package. I've never been so excited in my life. So I'm going to show you it. I've just opened it. I've not actually dived into the box yet. So I will do that with you, but I'm really so excited. So thank you very much Davro for sending me a package. This is the best day ever. So first of all, is this going to focus? Maybe not because I've got it in a locked mode, which is really not ideal right now. Are you going to focus? Yeah, there we go. So we have the ultimate moisture conditioning treatment. Oh, lovely. I love a conditioning treatment. My hair has been processed like mad over the years. So this is great for me. Um, I'm going to give that a smell. Let's give this a smell. Goodness me. So before they sent it to me, they did actually ask me like what my hair was like, um, what condition it's in, what I tend to do with it and all the rest of it. So I gave them a very solid answer. I told them that um, like I say, my hair has been bleached a lot over the years. I fluctuated between the two. Um, then the postpartum hair loss, all the rest of it. My hair now has got quite long. So my hair is now like down to like under my boobs. The ends of it are still quite dry from where it was balayaged while I was pregnant. And just generally my hair just needs a bit more moisture added to it. So at the moment I use um, the Wella Fusion shampoo. And then I also use the Wella Fusion conditioner, but I switch between that and a milkshake one but this is yeah so this is a conditioning treatment oh there's a little lid on it of course there's a lid on it amber there's not gonna not be a lid that is beautiful stuff oh delicious delicious this is vegan as well by the way so they're vegan and australian not that the australian really matters but yeah they're vegan which will matter to a lot of people but that has a really nice light scent to it it's not like really overpowering i don't a scented thing in my hair though i'll be honest it's not like it's not a deal breaker for me it doesn't bother me at all it smells expensive because it isn't really overpowering do you know what i mean this is an oh very nice argan oil instant treatment warm up one to two pumps in the palm of your hand and apply to right let's let's give this a sniff shall we so i do use an oil at the moment i use the weller well it's not weller it's sebastian um use that sebastian dark oil and i really like that come on let's just get a little bit out so we can see what it smells like are you coming? Oh, there we go. That doesn't smell of anything, I'll be honest. 
So that smells like absolutely nothing. Oh no, yes it does. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. And tell you what, let's take my hair down so I can just try it. I will definitely need two pumps. Look how much hair I have. It's ridiculous how much hair I have. Oh, that smells, that smells really nice. Really nice. But again, it's not overpowering. Oh, I love it. Love it. So that is great. I'm going to keep, I'm going to try this. I'm going to try this instead of the uh, Sebastian one and see how I get on with it. Um, also vegan, 100% vegan friendly. Uh, gentle on hair and scalp, kind to the environment. Contains natural plant and flower ex uh, extract. Hmm, moisturises without greasiness, delivering soft, silky hair with a radiant shine. Beautiful. So this is the leave-in mask. So I absolutely love that. Um, here it said, yeah, apply a small amount of wet or dry hair and leave in. Always apply before outdoor activities for maximum protection and apply liberally to scalp roots before, uh, from scalp to roots before swimming. Yeah, lovely. So it's a non-oily barrier to guard against colour fade and protect, provide sun and surf protection. Lovely. But that is what I use every day. So it literally, um, yeah, it's just like a white little liquid. Um, I just put like a small amount in. Rub it through the old hands and rub it through the old hair. God, my hair is going to smell delicious, but it definitely doesn't need everything in it at once. It's also due a wash, so it's probably going to look quite greasy by the time I've finished, but ah oh well. I love the smell of this. Again, it's really, really nice. They all smell quite similar, um, but yeah, they just smell fresh. Like, they smell fresh. They smell... It very much smells like a salon, you know, like that hair salon smell. Do you know what I mean? So now I've got shampoo and conditioner. I love the bottles. Like, I really love the design of those. I think they're so nice. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, so all of this is vegan, which is great. So this is moisture rich. Um, yeah, formulated to revitalise and detangle dry, damaged and curly hair types, which is perfect for me, really, because my hair isn't... Um, my hair's not naturally straight. It's not, like, naturally curly curly, but my hair has quite a strong wave to it with the occasional little ringlet um i've tried like curly girl methods in the past i used to wear it like it but i just i never really liked it and i hated how tangled it got and i just prefer my hair straight so that's what i do this moisture balancing conditioner with australian lily pilly what's lily pilly i love it what's lily pilly nourishing organic argan oil and quinoa protein assist to replenish essential moisture and repair damage to make hair feel soft supple and healthy looking, helps to improve manageability, reduce frid, frizz, and add luminous shine. This stuff is made for me, my friends. It is made for me. I'm really excited to try all of this. I'm not gonna wash my hair tonight because we're going swimming in the morning, so I'll do it tomorrow night. I, I, honestly, I can't tell you how excited I am by this. I know it sounds so silly. Like, I don't class myself, I know some of you will probably roll your eyes, but I don't care. I don't class myself in any way as an influencer and to be totally honest when people call me an influencer it makes me cringe like I get the ick you know of course there are times like I work full time and I, I don't really earn any money from my social media I occasionally do but you know nothing to write home about um so when brands send me things like this especially like this where I've got no obligation to tell you about it whatsoever um I shared their products on my page and they sent me a message and offered to send me some um and yeah just to try and just see how I get on with it so I, I can't tell you how much I appreciate things like this and like I can't believe that brands do this for me so it's lovely and I'm very very excited about it um and I know that also sounds really ridiculous I know that sounds really ridiculous when literally two minutes ago I was showing you a pram that I've been sent um but this doesn't happen really often for me uh it's kind of you know few and far between but I appreciate it nonetheless and I'm very, very, very excited by this. Um, so yeah, I'm, uh, I feel like I want to enter a new era and I'm really kind of trying to find myself post baby, um, whatever that may look like. And I just feel like I've really neglected myself over the last few years. And yeah, I'm going to change my hair again, shock horror, but um, I just feel like I really just want to find myself again. And I know the kind of person I want to be and it's just getting there and I think, you know, this sounds ridiculous, it's hair products, Amber. But yeah, I just want to start looking after myself more and I think that self-care is really important and it's something that I preach but I don't actually do myself. But yeah, I've started taking supplements again, I've been to therapy and all the rest of it. We'll get onto my therapy actually because I've finally finished my weekly sessions. Um, but yeah, so this I think will really help uh, and go a long way into trying to restore my hair and 
yeah, just look after myself and feel good again. So, talking out my ass now, but, oh, this is so exciting. So exciting. Oh, I'm very happy, if you can't tell. Hello, friends. Um, so, I'm just coming on just to end the vlog. Had a really busy afternoon, lovely afternoon at Soft Play, but didn't get home until, like, five half five and then had the mad rush of sorting dinner um before getting joey to bed i have just popped to sainsbury's to get a bottle of wine got a lovely uh bottle of gavi um i really like gavi I'm, I'm more of a rosé drinker these days but i can't help myself when it comes to a bottle of gavi i love it so just got a bottle of that and i am going out this evening i am going to uh see a friend and yeah there's some old school friends there and yeah so hopefully good evening i'm on my own with joey tomorrow so i can't have too much um but yeah thanks very much for watching this vlog uh please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next week for another video bye